I'm excited for this one, you guys. But before we jump into it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So the first step that we're doing is the body, the bare bones of the design. I use three steps for this setup for these marquee letters and I feel like I'm always trying to perfect my design style for marquee letters and I think this one probably takes the cake. So for my bare bones, as you can see, I am using two clusters at a time of each color. This was a four color design two clusters both clusters have eight balloons in them and some of them i did use a lot of 16 inches in this design because i really wanted a big bulky look so the clusters have majority of them for the bare bones had two 16 inches in one cluster and then the rest was 11 inch balloons so eight balloons Two of them was 16 inches, and then six of them was 11 inch balloons. And then I tied two of those clusters, or yeah, two clusters together to get two clusters of eight balloons, which is in total of 16 balloons in one long two foot cluster, I guess you can say. And that's how I built my bare bones. In this part, I was not trying to think about my shape. I wasn't really thinking about um, how it was looking so far. I really just wanted to get the body done and color placement. So I was thinking about what color is going where, um, making sure that the colors are pretty spread out. And you know, that's my focus on the bare bone section was getting the colors done, getting the color placement right and making sure that I'm filling up the space. And I have to say that I did have some clusters left over from the bare bone. So as you can see, as I finish fill, filling out my body, that I will end up having some clusters left, which is great because I was able to fill in spaces with those as well. Um, and I use a total of 58 clusters. Yes, 58 clusters for this design. Each color, I inflated 10 clusters. So I have five of those double clusters together. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes, I have, sorry to count. I have five of those two double clusters together. Um, and then I had 10 clusters, 10 double, sorry, 10 clusters in total for each body color. So 10 for each color. So that was 40 clusters. And then I inflated as we get to step two, where I did the volume um, for the design, that's when I used clusters of six balloons and quads of four balloons. But we're going to get there. So right now, as you can see, I'm just filling in space. Um, not even filling in the space, just filling in the actual design, doing the color placement of it all, make sure the colors are spread out evenly kind of thing. Um, and then attaching, attaching the garland to the letters. And for the actual letters itself, I use the wood clamps. You can purchase them at like Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, and they exactly what they call the wood clamps and they basically like clamp things together and i just put those just because i wanted the letters or sorry i wanted the balloons to kind of stand up and not like fall to the back so the the wood clamps i used at the top and anything on the side i just use the 260 in the wiring that's used on the back of the letters so we are pretty much coming up to an end of me doing the bare bones once i have most of everything filled in i'm going to get into what we would be doing now which is step two volume so for the volume i pre-made clusters of six balloons and quads of four balloons so a quad and a cluster of six balloons tied together i use those to now fill in the areas to thicken out the design so as you can see in my hand now i have a quad and a cluster of six balloons already tied together and i'm just filling in those spaces now so now just going in and then making sure, and I tie everything neck to neck. So you make sure you want to tie things to the right and to the left and sometimes even up. So if it's something above it, you may need to tie above it. Um, to the right of it and to the left of it to make sure everything is pulling tightly. I'm not really worried about too many gaps because I know I will be 
um, bringing in some accents and I still had some leftover five inches balloons and as you can see you guys something I've been doing lately my five inches are already on my bare bones and my volume clusters five inches are already on if I need to move them or adjust it that's fine but it's still it's a game changer because I'm spending less time on doing the things I can do at home. And I'm already making these clusters at home. I can put my five inches on at home. This is one less step you have to do on site and it gives you more time to actually play with your design and shape and make sure everything looks right. So giving me an extra 10 to 15 minutes is, I need it. I'm sure you guys need it because we like to get content and make sure we have everything perfect and right. So do as much as you can at home is my number one tip. Inflate your five inches. If you have clusters you're making, put those five inches on the clusters. If you need to adjust it and move it, that's quicker than actually having to tie them more or using a rubber band or using a 260 once you're on site. Find ways to make your um, designing process seamless once you arrive on site. And only thing you can think about is the shape. That way you can get those beautiful pictures that we see on Pinterest or Instagram and things like that. So we still in step two phase. You can see I'm still adding on my cluster of six balloons with the quad attached. I'm making sure I um, tie them to the right, to the left, up, down. And again, I'm tying everything neck to neck. And here I think I broke up one of the two clusters of eight balloons. I end up ripping them apart and using it somewhere else because I pre-make these clusters at home assuming you know, just knowing this is how I want to do it. But once I get on site, I may need a cluster there or I may need something else there. And I don't know until I'm actually designing. So you don't actually have to stick to that actual, um, I guess, plan or how you made the cluster. Sometimes I even, as you can see in this video later on, that I will be taking clusters apart. Like I had a cluster of eight balloons and I only needed a quad. So I started to unravel them or untwist them and you take out a quad or something like that. Those are things you can play around with once you get on site. But doing a few things at home allows you time to do that, you know, do those kind of steps. So here I am. I think I'm going to rip that cluster off. It was too bulky. I wasn't feeling it. Um, so I did rip it off. I have strong hands, unfortunately. So I know people are like, how you rip it off? I just pull it apart. Sometimes I need a pair of scissors, but majority of times I can just rip it off. Um, nothing too crazy. So here I am just filling in spaces. I'm taking that cluster that I ripped off on the right and I'm adding it over here on the left now. I'll be tying this again neck to neck. And as you can see already, the design is already starting to thicken up. It's already starting to be full. I mean, these kind of setups can be very intimidating. It really can be because you're like, oh my God, I have so much to do. But once you start doing this step by step, like don't think about um, part C until you finish part A. So my thought process was like, let me do the body first. Once I have the body done, okay, let me do the volume. And then as you start to step back and look at it, you're like, okay, this is actually coming together. It's starting to look like something. And of course you have to move things around. You have to make sure things are tied, tied tightly uh, to make sure you're filling as much gaps and space as you can. The right side came together real good. The left side, when I got to the left side, it started to, it, it gave me a little bit of problems. I think at some point I did too many 16 inches. Um, and then I also, the way I do my clusters when I add 16 inches, I keep my, I don't like my 16 inches touching. So they kind of be on opposite ends. Um, and sometimes that can mess with the design because when you're putting clusters together and you're tying them maybe two 16 inches next to each other, it may be hard for them to actually close and create a tight grip because that 16 inches blocking it. So in some point I did feel like, okay, I had too many 16 inches and I did end up popping maybe one or, I think probably one or two, I think I ended up popping just because it was in my way and I needed to really close up. So that's the only thing. But other than that, it do help fill up a design faster, um, especially something as massive like this. Um, and I, oh, I, 
I can't rewind it. But if you guys seen that, I had two quads. So a cluster can be thick. If you have eight balloons in a cluster, it's just a thick ball. However, if you tie two quads together, it elongates the cluster now. So I guess it kind of, yeah, it can be a cluster still. <laughs> it's not twisted together. But if you take two quads and tie them together instead of twisting it together, they give you two different shapes. So in that moment if you rewind it back you'll see for next to the m when i added that purple there i took two quads and tied it together just so i get a longer piece and not a cluster that's thick and as you can see the right is coming together it's looking good a little bit the left mm, we're we gonna work on it y'all i'm not finished yet the left we're gonna work on it i think i did some on camera and i may took a little bit off camera um but it was the middle part as you can see i ripped off a cluster it was giving too bulky i needed to like snatch it out i need to snatch the waist that's what i needed to do we needed to snatch the waist I'm still working on my waist, but we need to snatch it a little bit. So we took that cluster off. As you can see, I'm taking apart a cluster now, and I'm using it to add at the bottom a quad. So I took apart a cluster there. You see, I left that 16 inches. I think I ended up throwing them somewhere else. Um, but yeah, the left side is, is coming together a little bit. And then we added in... Just adding in the bits of pieces that I have left. Again, I use 58 clusters total. So if you want to surprise, I'm going to just give y'all everything in this video because why not? If you wanted to price this, um, you'll be using the 58 clusters as 58 feet. And I have a pricing formula on my website. It's always linked in my description box. It's $19.99. And you can see how I price these kind of designs. So step three, you guys, we are doing our accents and fillers. We're taking, I have some rose gold orbs that I will be adding. And this is something that I had in my home already. I'm really trying to get rid of my inventory by the end of this year. So anything extra I can give a client, I'm going to do it as much as I can. That, and I already do that anyway, but I'm really trying to like, okay, can I add, what kind of accents can I add? Um, so this is what I'm doing now. I'm just adding on some rose gold orbs that I already had and some bobo balloons. Bobo balloons are always fun to play with they just give a design the texture and the the cleanliness I, I love bobo balloons i could have used a little bit more i did seven well i only had seven uh orbs anyway the rose gold one so that's the only thing i could use for that was that number however i should have doubled up on my bobo balloons and i had a lot more i could have used i just i don't know i thought seven seven was enough but i should have doubled up just to give it a lot more because it was kind of hard to see them but if i think if i had more it would have been nicer so yeah um lesson learned but it's okay they still came out pretty good um the left, I feel like I ended up changing something to the left. Well, it's not too bad. No, it's not too bad. A above the M, where that paint section is, I could have used like a quad or something there. It kind of gave it like a dip and it wasn't as even as, as it looked on the right side. The right side looked a little bit more fuller, but it's okay. You can't get it all. I'll be trying to get it all, you guys. I'll be trying to make it perfect, but it would never just be perfect because we're not perfect. So... It just is what it is. But alhamdulillah, I, I appreciate the setup. And I'm taking my left over five inches. And I'm just filling them in. I'm just trying to fill in the space and uh, uh, any holes that I may see. Or I may be doubled up, uh, doubled up on five inches just to give an extra texture poking out. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just using the rest of those five inches to clean up the look fill in any spaces and that's pretty much it you guys like i feel like i did a pretty good job this three-step design that i had in my head i really executed it <laughs> and let me know what you think let me know if you have any questions i will be leaving a list of all the um colors in the description box but i'm not done yet you guys i got another setup yeah see look look at me so this is funny, you guys. I was supposed to be doing this setup with the helium balloons for sure. Um, already planned that the client and I discussed, but this was supposed to be on a welcome sign. I, the client was there at the V before she had to leave, and I was like, "Where the, where the welcome sign at? You gonna get it?" She was like, "I thought you was doing that." I said, "Now you know, <laughs> I don't do nothing but balloons." We, we had a good key key because I'm like, mm -mm. you know, <laughs> I'm like, it's okay though. We're going to make it pretty. The venue already had like this 
I guess this table set here. So I was like, I would just do the balloons on the table set. She had a guest book that will be coming where people could sign. And we was going to set the guest book up on the table. And I was just going to do the garland. And we already planned to do the helium floating balloons around the welcome sign. So I was still able to do that. And it, it ended up working out perfect because I was able to use the table set with the balloon decor um, to make it look really nice and classy and cute. So... Um, that was just a whole miscommunication. I have no clue. I mean, we did do a site visit. I told her, yeah, I can do the balloons over here with, with your welcome sign. I don't, I don't know why she assumed I do a welcome sign. I didn't put no welcome sign on the invoice. All I put was balloons because <laughs> that's all I do. But it's okay. Uh, she's a sweetheart. Um, we figured it out immediately. I'm like, don't worry at all. It's okay. We only need no last minute welcome sign because she was going to go to Hobby Lobby. I'm like, it's not worth it. It's not going to be customized. It's not going to have the colors. So we'll be okay with what we have i'll make it beautiful and the helium balloons really add a nice touch like at first i was against helium when i first started but that's why it calls taking one step at a time because if i was to start everything at one time like starting garland starting helium starting grabbing gold i would have overwhelmed myself and it just would have been too much i probably would have stopped doing balloons but i really took my business one step at a time I started off with just the garlands and even with doing like accents like floral and stuff like that at first I'm like I don't want I I would I knew I would do it but I just wanted to wait a little bit like let me just get a garland done let me know how to do a garland cleanly like let me just get this out the way before I start adding other elements into my design so that's basically how I run my business I I didn't have a helium tank until maybe last year I think I bought my first helium tank um so and before if i did offer or took on any helium jobs i outsourced it to party city and i just charged that directly to the client or whatever i was paying at party city plus any like delivery fee like or mileage because i have to drive there and things like that but yeah take it one step at a time when it comes to your business don't feel like you have to do everything at once don't feel rushed yes it's a nice thing to do or have these other elements but go on your pace don't go on anyone else's pace i'm i'm sorry y'all this just became a little motivational speech but <laughs> i'm serious like it truly like this is oh i should have kept that rose gold back there that look cute all right never mind all right guys this is the final <laughs> set up this is how everything came out i hope you guys enjoyed this video i slowed down the video if you notice because some of y'all complained that it'd be too fast so here you go i apologize but hopefully you enjoyed the long video but this is how everything came out i hope you guys enjoy the video don't forget to like comment subscribe bye